Every day we receive thousands of terrible VHS tapes and DVDs. Some are so fucking weird we don't exactly know what to do with them. That's why the Wheel of the Worst was designed. It's a torture device for the modern age. The wheel is spun three times. Each spin selects a video at random for the group to watch, and then evaluate which video is the best of the worst. Finally, the horse ninja comic I was looking for. Comic artist Freddie Williams. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm definitely not here to steal your horse ninja comic book idea and pass it off as my own. Uh, and Marvel's definitely not interested in publishing it for me. Well, let's see what's on the wheel today. It's now time to spin the wheel of the worst. Well, Freddie, while you're here, uh, we might as well spin the wheel of the worst and uh, pick some, some terrible videos to watch. I'm looking forward to it a little. Oh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, but let's see what's on the wheel today. Um, our first video is called Dog Sitter VHS. Uh, that's part of the title, Dog Sitter VHS. It's about a, a guy who sits like a dog, right? I hope so. I, I, I don't think so. I think it's going to be something you put on your TV that your dogs will watch. Like, they're watching a raccoon porno, um, and, uh, and there's a dog with a nurse's hat on. What's next on the wheel? It's laugh, just for the health of it. <laughs> just. Just for the health of it. Uh, with Patty Wooten, RN. Yes, yes. And she has a mirth aid kit. Um, yes, I'm very familiar with this video. It was on the wheel last time. I hate it. I haven't seen it, but I hate it. I hate Patty Wooten, and I hope she gets Ebola. Our next video is Software Made Easy 4-in-1 Computer Video, featuring Windows 95, which actually operates more efficiently with today's software than Windows 8 does. Uh, WordPerfect and something called Lotus 123. I'm surprised it has such a futuristic version of Windows though, because it's now only on number eight. This yeah. is all the way to 95. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Next we have Kid Sand Airbags. Well, yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty painful. Um, whoever typed this up didn't do a very good job. Uh, and really, there should be a whole lot more blood in that car accident. Oh, jeez. Cat Sitter, I Hour VHS, forbidden in the USA. Oh, featured <laughs> in USA Today, The Wall Street Journal, and The Daily Show. Go Cat Video. This is suspiciously what? similar to Dog Sitter, which is made by Go Dog Video. Is it a coincidence? Don't know. Sounds like conspiracy. I think this is just bullshit. Two Paws Up, Cats Magazine. There is no such thing as Cats Magazine. That's bullshit. Uh, complete with the sights and sounds of nature in stereo. So again, I hope to fucking God we don't land on either of these. This cat looks terrified. What's next, Freddy? It is how to become a teenage ninja. Hmm. Uh, discover the secrets of ninja power. I don't know if we should have this in such a public forum. It's secret. Yeah, I wouldn't want a bunch of teenagers kicking my fucking ass. <laughs> uh, this clearly is aping off the success of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I'm assuming it's- Turtles? Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, have you oh. heard of it? No. Oh. I thought it was something to do with like- It's that new Michael Bay movie. Oh, I love Michael Bay. Right, right. Uh, discover the secrets of Ninja Power. Yeah, this is like some BS that somebody whipped up to cash in off that craze. Uh, it's a bunch of junk. All this shit is junk. <laughs> These are why, this is why God invented dumpsters. It's for all this shit right here. <laughs> well, what's next on the wheel? Uh, farm safety family style 1343. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I, all I can hope is that they recreate horrible farm accidents. That's, that's the only thing we could hope for in farm safety, but since it says family style, it might only be children getting their eyes pecked out by chickens. Uh, ice dams, what? Uh, causes com, what? Causes, combats, and cures. Causes, combats, and cures? Does that mean that it causes the combats and the there, cures? There really should be a comma there. Uh, yes, but it's brought to us by the fine people at uh, Liberty oh. Mutual. It's above reproach. Yes, they're trying to decrease liability insurance claims. All right, Freddie, it's time for the moment of truth. It's time to spin the wheel and see what the first video is we watch. All right, here we go. That was a pretty weak spin, Freddie. Oh! Hey. It's time to learn about ice dams. And how to combat them and cure them. And what the causes are. So. Let's go watch Ice Dams. Whoa! During winters with heavy snow loads, I just want to see them recreating one icicle hitting a kid. I know, yeah. dropping right into his head. Yeah. <laughs> this home has obvious problems. Yet, oh. what? Oh. Whoa, what the oh. fuck? The cameraman has uh, has problems. <laughs> That's obvious problem. Yeah. Someone He's has slipping on the ice. Him. They are also the two primary solutions. How are you supposed to put anything in your attic when you have isolation thrown all over the place? You're not supposed to put anything in your Look, attic. Look, what do you want? What? Storage space or no icicles? You've got it all wrong. They were storing the insulation. Oh! That's very clever. The same things which cause ice dams in the winter may cause your roof to rot. Look okay. at this, this was shot over a year. This is like the boyhood of ice dam video. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Except it's much more emotional. I'm more invested in this. Ready? You're never allowed to spin the wheel again. What time were we supposed to be there? Watch where you're driving. Oh no, Dad! This is the most tense oh, thing I've ever watched. Oh no. Do you want to stop and call someone? Oh no! no. no. Bad job, Dad! Oh, Watch out! No. Holy oh, fuck! Oh, 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 the family? Thank God they turned into dummies! <laughs> <laughs> but like other public health successes, there have been some unfortunate side effects. Is it over yet? Guy. He seems like a like a real wild guy. <laughs> Look at him wildly gesticulating with that hand. Oh my gosh. Do you think he lost the other one in a kid sand airbag accident? <laughs> Even leaning forward to play with a radio or tape deck can put a child's head close to the airbag module. Never permit a child to lean forward. Never let your child drive the car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Rich, we've learned a lot in a very short amount of time. A very short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So, Jay, I understand you want to land on Cat Sitter. Yes, I'm taking the spin in hopes that we'd land on Cat Sitter. So, here we go. Ow! <sighs> Fuck. Was that Josh? No, what are you talking about? You, you spun the wheel so hard, you fell over. Oh, my God. How to be a teenage ninja! <laughs> All right, I can't wait. <laughs> Another bullet dodged. <laughs> Tales from Genesee Space. Come on, you guys! We got you now, Jack. No. Come on. <laughs> okay. Ha 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 
Uh oh. 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 Run, uh, kids. Um, yeah, this is a much bigger problem than those kids outside. You, you need an adult now. <laughs> oh, especially hey. after that. Yeah. Look at this authentic white ninja. <laughs> Seems to have balance issues. Great. <laughs> it's the appropriate reaction. <laughs> Now turn around and do it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, Rich, I replayed the footage of the last wheel spin. I played it back in slow motion multiple times and I am 75% sure I did not spin this wheel. I look like a legitimate spin to me. I think the only way to solve this is to just do another spin. We've watched three videos and they're less than the length of one episode of Law and Order. So let's let's just do another spin and see what happens. But that means me white we 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 we, we, we I might have to watch Hi folks, my name is Steve Canton, director and producer of the Dog Sitter Video. We produce the Cat Sitter Video. Why is there a pillow there? He's still sitting on the floor with a perfectly good chair behind him. He has to put the pillow there to hide his erection from the dog. <laughs> Tired of this crap. <laughs> This automatically makes us better than anything else we've watched tonight. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, goats! <laughs> you? Ah, ah! What is on his head? That's a camera! Oh, it's a, a camera. Dog with a camera oh, it's a, it oh doggy, doggy cam, cam. Yeah. yeah. This is. This, uh, is this, this dog the dog cam? It's too tall. And uh, too steady. Is, this is a person that they want us to think is a dog? They lie. They, is that what they're trying to do? This thing is yes. full of lies. Yeah. The doggy cam would be too messy and yeah. Yeah. shaky. Hello, fellow canines. Finally, something produced just for us. It's called the Dog Sitter Video, and I give it two paws up. It stars Daryl Duck, Rocky Raccoon, Sammy Squirrel, Tommy Turkey, and a cast of thousands. It's a howl of a good show, created with special sound and produced with the latest in doggy cam technology. Just watch. We're getting a trailer for the video after the video? Yeah? Oh, is there a target on there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, it's what's got, happening? Got, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, no. It's got like jump scares and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's not what we're talking about the videos we just watched. You know, the bad ones. They're all pretty all bad. bad. Yeah, ones. I don't think any of them are any bad. Well, the Wheel of the Worst has certainly lived up to its title tonight. Uh, the first video we watched was Ice Dams. Causes, combats, and cures. Although there's no comma after causes. Causes, combats, and cures? I'm afraid I caused us to pick this video. This was your fault. Yes, yes. Uh, this is produced by Liberty Mutual. So Mike, why don't you explain ice dams, causes, combats, and cures in detail. It's a very extensive video. I'd rather not. Um... Okay, then I guess we're done. <laughs> yeah, I, I, this isn't even worth discussing. Not really. There, there was a lot of scientific explanations about how icicles form, and, and I now understand what an ice dam is. I, yes, I, didn't I did not know what that was before. Yeah, and it makes sense. Ice builds up, water builds up, and forms a dam, and it spills over, freezing icicles that hang down. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the interior ridge of the roof. On correctly ventilated and insulated... The arrow-shaped <laughs> bugs. <laughs> what? The know. bigger ones leave. They turn into ghosts. Those are arrow-shaped bugs. <laughs> 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 
of arrows pass. Oh. <laughs> Ghosts of arrows pass. We once oh, froze no. here. <laughs> I'd rather have watched Ice Dam Truckers. Nothing. So you're saying you wish you would have seen trucks just drive through houses to try and uh, knock down the ice dams? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's that's the method. That's the cure for the icicles is to drive the truck through the this house. This is how you combat it. <laughs> <laughs> the only interesting thing about this video is that uh, they apparently, as a videographer, they hired a, a stalker, a creepy uh, serial killer slash stalker. Icicles are present and dams are beginning to form along the <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hi, anonymous cameraman. <laughs> no icicles are damp. No. Bum bum bum, and she was never seen again. <laughs> if if you've seen this girl, please dial the number at the bottom of the screen. Her parents miss her very much. She was last seen being videotaped by a creeper. In addition to, well, with the exception of this, shitty cash grab videos, mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 videos that were made by insurance companies to address issues uh, to, to lower their claims. Yes, I, apparently I, that's apparently a what thing. This is. And really, there is nothing of note to discuss in ice dams. This is pretty much a first, other than, uh, you, you made the joke about a creepy stalker. That's it. They actually used Liberty Mutual insurance agents to film some of the segments and it looks like shitty home video camera footage. Yes. Uh, there were no recreations. I thought it was gonna be a video about don't stand under a melting icicle because it could slip off and, and stab you in the head. The one thing I wanted out of that video was to see just one icicle fall and hit some kid in the head. Yeah. Why a that's kid? That's all I wanted. Because just that's out of curiosity. <laughs> because that's funnier. <laughs> Because it's proportionate, the longer life that they have to live with less eye, okay. then that then somehow funny. increases funny. Okay. Yes. All right, that, yeah. that's kind of twisted. <laughs> uh, I wish we had bought boredom insurance. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Bring out, bring out the slide whistle for that one. <laughs> hey, it's something. It's all we got. It's all we got with ice dams. <laughs> so that's it. It was 15 minutes long. Uh, uh, oh, oh, but there was a guest appearance by a bald one. Well, be careful! <laughs> oh my god, get out of there! He's just is shoving his bald faces! Where's your <laughs> that is a Baldwin! Yeah. <laughs> Which Baldwin was that again? Uh, Stumpy. Stumpy Baldwin? Stumpy Baldwin. He's the lesser known Baldwin. Yes. There was one human in the whole video, and it was a guy who uh, climbed into an attic, looked around at the insulation, and left. Um, we hoped he would have tried to eat the insulation. Mm -hmm. Or roll around in it. Yeah. To be fair, we don't know what happened once they cut away. Maybe, yeah. yeah sure. Maybe he was uh, like a weirdo and thought it was edible. And then it and turned into a, a, a hospital safety video <laughs> where they're trying to remove pounds of insulation from his, his colon. As he's tearing his insides apart and he's bleeding out of his rectum. Goodness. That's the sequel video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You can't fit all that into one video. Um. Is cooled by the air entering at the side. What is happening or now? It's like a it's disco. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a party. <laughs> There's something tropical <laughs> fish like about this. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's all we got. That's all we got, folks. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. Is this the first video where we have nothing to work with? No, that's not true. The Dunkin' Donuts finishing videos were... I think we had more with that. We talked about Bob Rosenberg fucking the donuts, like that alone. <laughs> but there's really nothing with ice dams. So we moved on to our next video, which is Kids Sand Airbags, uh, which was four and a half minutes long. Uh, and 30 seconds of that were entertaining. Rich? Well, well Jay, after watching the video, I, I, think, I think we're wrong about the title. I think it's actually kids and airbags. Oh. oh. Yeah. I like, mean, I got suspicious because there was no sand. None That's of the true. airbags were filled with sand. There was no sand in the entire video. I think the family did say that they were going to the beach in the beginning. But other oh, than that, okay. there was no, no, nothing about <laughs> sand. Yeah. yeah, they brought it around. They brought it around to the title. So it's probably kid sand. I, I just had an image of a kid on the beach like building a sandcastle and then an airbag exploding. <laughs> <laughs>
That's that's really how that should have ended. It's, like, it's a complete logical non sequitur. No provocation at all. No. Just, <laughs> boom. Yeah, I just it's just in the sand somehow. Well, Rich, what happens in kids in airbags? It's a four minute video to explain something to parents that you could probably tell them in person in a minute and a half. Yeah. By the time you have the tape loaded into the VCR and rewind it and adjust the tracking, it, yeah, you already have all the information. Yeah. Well, yeah, they, they do have a nice little opening sequence, though, with a family that goes out for a drive. Yeah, yeah. And that, that set us up for, like, oh, this is going to yeah, be great. Oh, this is going to be great. And they load their kids in the airbags, and they're driving, and they're not paying enough attention <laughs> to the road. Yeah. They load their kids in the airbags, and they're shot out of yeah. the car. Why would they, the you mean they load their kids in the car seats? Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> there's, a, whatever. there's a big difference. My brain's trying to make it more exciting than it really was. <laughs> Used properly, these provide excellent protection. Stop waggling! Just like infant restraint. I don't know this lady! <laughs> For better fit into an adult safety No, belt. put the arm in the... <laughs> Why are you gonna be so Moron. difficult? <laughs> I'll do it myself! <laughs> no, you, you're, you're a stupid baby. Let me, let me help you. For a four minute long video, there was, there was decent information. And it, you know, it didn't... It wasn't bloated and long and yeah. pointless. It was like, here's the thing. Airbags inflate in a millisecond, and uh, they're very dangerous. Uh, don't have your kid fuck around in the front seats. Play with the radio, because if you hit something, it's going to bash your kid's head in. You know, it's good information. Yeah. Don't yeah. avoid yeah. having your kids drive for yeah. you. Yeah, and... It was very efficient. It was very efficient. None of that, none of that edutainment nonsense. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, they didn't. They didn't bother with like the wacky song. Like, yes. be cool about airbag safety. Mm -hmm. You know, like they didn't need a song. Puff, Puffy the the airbag bearer. <laughs> <laughs> I will fuck up your face. <laughs> no, we didn't need that. Because I it, get large extremely fast. Yeah. <laughs> Puffy the airbag bear. Why bear? Why is the airbag a bear? Because they're usually bears, Friendly. aren't they? <laughs> Mascots. It's never like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Puffy the airbag snake. <laughs> Kids usually aren't, aren't fans of snakes. But it's the, but the way you made it, it sounded like it was a personified airbag. And if it was a personified airbag, it would not also be a bear. I'm actually picturing like a hybrid airbag slash bear, like a bear made out of inflated airbag. All right, but think oh about the God. shape the shape of an airbag. I could see like little ears. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah, okay. Are, are you suggesting that they make airbags with like a happy bear face on them? Yeah, like, and to kind of <laughs> soothe you. So yeah. when it comes out, it hugs the kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, inflatable arms to come up. <laughs> It looks adorable. The horrific accident is going on outside the window, <laughs> and then this cartoon bear jumps yeah. in your face. Yeah. The paramedics run to the rescue, and they're just like, "Aww." Billy's Billy's been decapitated, but <laughs> but there's a charming bear airbag wrapped around his corpse. <laughs> All I can say is it, may, it was a four and a half minute video, but it felt like a four and a half minute video. <laughs> that's just pretty good. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, yeah. If you're on top of or very close to the airbag, when it begins to inflate, it can cause serious injuries. I will fuck up your face! <laughs>one after the other. What's, well, what's next, Jay? Uh, well, the next video that we watched uh, was how to become a teenage ninja. Discover the secrets of ninja power. Uh, uh, Freddie, did we discover the secrets of ninja power? I certainly did. Okay, uh, what happens in this video? Well, first of all, you must be pursued by some bullies. There they are, let's get them! Yeah, yeah let's, let's get them! Then disappear into a cave that has some sort of Power Ranger cloaking device over the front of it. Was it a cloaking device, or did the Ninja Master magically make the uh, the cave just seal shut? I think you're just splitting hairs at this point. Okay. It, it is the same thing. They didn't tell us. They it's, didn't tell us. The, the, the point being that the kids are trapped in there with this strange man. This is too weird. Okay. Yes. Yes. First <laughs> of all, he, he wields dual wield swords, and then he creates some sort of ninja assistant who does the rest of the hard work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can just materialize ninjas? 
Look out, it's Gerald Akamira. <laughs> Thank goodness he's wearing a lot of clothes. It's Not himself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm done. All right. Yeah, bye. <laughs> These kids were horrible. They will never be ninja masters. They, those kids had head issues, okay? They needed to learn ninjutsu because they had, they had bullies chasing them wanting to smash their ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going in. No way am I going to get my head smashed. I'm with you. Should. No way am I gonna get my ass bashed. Is that what he said? <laughs> I think he had he said head smashed, but that's what it sounded like. That's what I thought oh, at first too. They're, they're gay bullies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to smash my ass. Yeah. <laughs> that's not ex actually what he said, but it's sort of. I think we all heard that. Maybe all, we all just wanted to hear that because we were all <laughs> hoping that this video wouldn't be as boring as the other two. Sounds great to me. Let's get started. I wanted to put you into something a little more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you will want to watch this fast-paced, fun-filled program again and again. Oh, God, no. Um, I, I have an issue with the back of that box. <laughs> you do, yeah? yes. What is it? it? It goes through everything they teach them, right? Proper warm-up techniques. Basic stances, punches, kicks, blocks, the ninja code of ethics, and that's, we can, we can agree with, with everything so far, right? Yes. But then it says, and much, much more. And that's oh, a lie. No. That's a lie. Yeah. Am I dreaming? Well, they, they learned a slightly almost offensive accent that the, oh, the, yeah, yeah. the master taught that very well throughout the entire video. Which is used for defending your upper body and your face. Um, well, can we talk about the the blatant, obvious uh, marketing scam that this tape is? What oh, do sure. you mean by that? Well, <laughs> uh, let's see, 1990. Yeah, the, that's, that's about the exactly right as far that's as... That's when um, Thundercats were big, right? Yeah, something yes. else is big, mainly Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the words teenage and ninja are both in the title and the, the layout is exactly the same. And you, at home can become a ninja warrior if you practice. Well, it started really with, with Frank Miller. Why? Well, <laughs> Freddie Williams, comic book expert, would oh, you care to explain? Uh, well, Frank Miller did, uh, he, he, first of all, he wrote a very, um, uh, let me see, a seminal uh, chapter in like the Wolverine uh, history where he went to Japan. It was uh, what the movie was loosely uh, based on the newest Wolverine movie where he goes to Japan. Yeah. Let me see. Also, Frank Miller did a graphic novel uh, called Ronin that had like some stuff about samurais, ninjas, and then like there was time shifting involved and all this other stuff. And that was Ronin w has been cited by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird as uh, uh, like a primary influence on how they have uh, what they did with Ninja Turtles. So. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, the blame tree can be followed a lot further down into the roots, like a lot further along than that, but um, I agree that, you know, the uh, predecessor to uh, this, like, kid dumbed down version of what ninjutsu is and the disgrace of this um, uh, can, be, can be traced back to Frank Miller and then even further. Frank, Frank Miller made uh, Daredevil a ninja, and Daredevil's origin is he gets hit in the head with a canister of radioactive waste. In the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles origin from the original comic books, a can of radioactive waste hits a man in the head and then bounces in the sewers. It was like an alternate, it's like a, a splitting of history or the, the, the origins there, which is, yeah. Do you remember in that second Ninja Turtles movie? <laughs> When yeah, do you remember the, Vanilla Ice? Do you remember the, the Vanilla Ice, the ninja rap? Go ninja, go ninja, <laughs> go. Go ninja, go ninja, go, 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 go. Oh. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Frank Miller wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote the lyrics to that song. Did you know that? <laughs> I do now, Mike. I do now. <laughs> I'm gonna update his Wikipedia page. The video's 35 minutes long and it took him 20 minutes to film it. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually make some sense because whenever they kept doing the recaps, yeah. 
whenever they would cut back to the <laughs> to the assistant, mm -hmm. and they even like repeated some of the video footage. They just looped it back and forth because oh, I yeah. guess they didn't have the assistant punch that many times or something in that way. Glad they used the uh, full house font for this. <laughs> it's not quite Comic Sans. No, but it's. It's definitely full ass. Yeah. <laughs> also, in addition to just being sloppy, I'm sure they did slap it together, but I'm assuming that set was way too small, too. Oh, yeah, that's the thing, is they're doing, like, do your stretches, or you're supposed to and, go like and this. And they're, like, stretching like this. <laughs> exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, at the one point, they're doing some sort of arm movement thing, and the kid's, like, he keeps flipping his shirt up because he doesn't have the room to put his arms out properly. <laughs> Um, okay, now can anybody repeat or recite the ninja code? We must recite our code of ethics. It sounded like this. <laughs> One. Because all of them were just like all running together. I couldn't hear any individual words at all. Two. Self-control. Three. Straight. That was close, but you need to sound slightly more racist. <laughs> <laughs> My assistant will demonstrate for you. This song, and also, also, repeat the ninja code. That's how he was talking. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, he was trying not to, though, but you know that he wanted to, and it kept slipping into it. He was it. trying to sound like the wise sensei yeah. uh, ninja master, but. Instead, he just looked like a surfer dude. Yeah, why didn't they get uh, like, like an actual Japanese man? I can, I can take, take many, many forms. forms. A, a bird in flight, flight, a fish, any animal, animal that you know. I have chosen to take this form of a young man in order to teach you the special physical and mental powers of this measure. <laughs> maybe, maybe this guy is a highly respected martial no. artist. No. This is the foundation by what the ninja lives by and should be your foundation as well. Well, here's the thing, the video ends with to be continued, so there's more to this story. Okay, it goes, <laughs> the well runs deep. Yeah, we yeah, we don't know see. where this saga continues and how to be a, ninja, a teenage ninja part two. But Jay, they already became black belts. What else is there to learn? Yeah, and then they don't even beat up the bullies, which we knew was gonna happen. Spoiler? Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler Jeez. alert. Those bullies were some pussies. Yeah. They're like, oh no, kids that are much younger than us are now wearing uh, karate pajamas. Run away! <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. Damn it! It's such bullshit. Well, at the at the end of the video, to prove how ninja they are, um, there is this incredibly deadly obstacle course where all the boards are scored and everything. It it makes it so easy to punch them. The deadly part is that it gives you a false sense of security. So the next time you're around some regular boards, you might just think you can just chop right through them and you will break your hand, which yeah. would. Uh, it happened to many eight-year-olds after watching this video. Yeah, yeah. I was picturing how many, how, how many siblings got into kick fights <laughs> after watching this. I after learned one how to them roundhouse watch... kick, yeah. sort of. Yeah. <laughs> they, they wanted to be Raphael and Michelangelo. Instead, they were Splinter. In order from the top, one. Crash! Who? Self-control! Hey! All right, all right. We're done with ninjas. I think we're done with ninjas. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, there's more to talk about. What? No! Well done. Thank you. You have made it to the halfway point. Well, after the ninja video, I started to think about the fact that I, I don't think that was a legitimate spin on my part for the ninja video. So we decided, you know, since these two videos were so short, you know, maybe we could do a fourth spin and then I could be sure that I was... Point being, our final video was Dog Sitter. <laughs> Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> that got meta. That got meta. It's fucked up. Guys, squirrel. Well, Guys. Squirrels. 
What is the first part? Can we go back? To dog Dog Sitter is an hour long. It's meant to be entertainment for your dog. And we discovered from the minute you hit play, this tape is chock full of lies because it has a warning that comes up saying that this tape is physically coated with a chemical that will prevent you from being able to dub it. The program portion of this tape has been coated with a new substance called KTC to prevent illegal copying. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's try. laughs> if you have already started to record this tape, we are required by law to inform you that the KTC process may damage your VCR. KTC will not affect your VCR in the play mode. The tape coated with KTC does not... Got a countdown. Stop recording now. Thank you for purchasing this video. Enjoy the show. Can we? Is that a lie? No. I think it's a lie. It's saying that you can't copy the yeah. tape, but we are copying yeah. the tape. Maybe from deck to deck. But it's going to count down. Maybe. It's counting down. Or, or it's, it it's just going to explode. It doesn't really have copy protection. That's... So then we cut from that to a guy with uh, sitting on the ground with a pillow on his lap. Covering a boner. Covering a boner that yeah. his dog is giving him. He's. It's worth noting, he's sitting on the floor in front of a perfectly comfortable yes. looking chair. Yes. Yeah, that's a little distracting. That's a little Justine Bateman. That's a little too Justine oh, Bateman. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what, is, what does he say? Oh, he says that the tape is filled with subliminal messages for dog. Embedded in this video are subliminal messages that say, good dog, good dog. It'll make your dog feel better. Why would a subliminal message so, work on a dog? <laughs> they don't understand words. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being subliminal gibberish. I think this, this, <laughs> this, this, this tape already lied to us about the copy protection, yes. Rich. It's, it's nothing but lies. I know. I know. <laughs> well, and then there's doggy cam, which is also a lie. Lie number two. Lie number three. Lie. Three. So many lies I can't we keep track. We can't keep up with the lies. This is the, the, the most bullshit tape we've watched on Best of the Worst. They say doggy cam and they show a dog with some sort of comical contraption strapped to its head. And then they cut to what is supposed to be his vision and it is clearly a guy with a camera. And they added a bark <laughs> sound effect to it as he walks along the, gra the grass chasing the geese, the turkeys, whatever he's chasing. How many people were fooled by that? Uh, so then the rest of the video is just a series of things that I guess is supposed to hold your dog's attention. We see birds, we see mice, and it just holds on them for a little while. But we do get to a pretty amazing sequence, which is uh, monkeys riding dogs. That's all you need to know. Monkeys forcibly riding dogs. Yes, they're sewn to the dogs. <laughs> Against their own monkey will. <laughs> they are sewn into little little cowboy pants onto the back of the dog. And they, they're they are screaming for help. Yeah. Wishing that they were they were test monkeys in some sort of genetics lab. <laughs> Any fate is worse than that. Help! Help! I've sewed my pants onto the saddle! <laughs> Monkeys are going to volunteer for the space program. <laughs> this this video was made by a madman, an absolute madman who wants to put magnetrons in tapes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got this, this great idea. We're going to make programming for dogs, <laughs> and we're going to put a magnetron in the tape. <laughs> Subliminal messages I'm for the dog. With the editing here, you look. I just move this knob, and the cat goes back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most experimental section of the video. Is when it keeps cutting back to the cats. Yeah. Or, oh no! And there's the. It was what, a chipmunk. The chipmunk that jumps into a grate, Whoop. and then he jumps Whoop. back out, then jumps Whoop. back in, and it goes on literally for 27 minutes. I think the theory was that not so much the guy who made this was crazy, but that he was more uh, desperate. Desperate for cash. <laughs> desperate for cash. He, desperate he, and angry. Got an idea that's gonna save the farm! <laughs> the, the family farm was about to be foreclosed on. He yeah. has six kids and, and- We see them in the video. We see them in the video. He has 36 pigs, <laughs> uh, uh, like 25 uh, uh, chickens running around. He has all these things he has to take care of, yeah. but he can't make a living for his family because he's a loser. <laughs> and his only idea is to come up with a video that dogs watch. A get-rich-quick scheme. To cash in on the VHS craze. Yeah. And uh, he's I got one of those video cameras. I can make this crap. We see his video camera in the video. Yeah. It looks like, actually, it's a big it's camera. It's a pretty professional so I, I, camera. I, he might actually be, uh, no, he's a farmer. He's trying to save his family farm. Uh, <laughs> fuck it, whatever. Um, and, he's, uh, and he comes up with this, this scheme to make money. Yeah. And it's, it's embarrassing. Yeah. I'm embarrassed for him. 
<laughs> and and the uh, the thing was, he ordered. Uh, he had twenty seven thousand copies pressed of this tape. And they just filled up his house. And they filled up his farmhouse. And he barricaded himself in when the bank came to foreclose on his home. <laughs> and then it was a, a, a murder suicide situation. <laughs> and then the, the old farmhouse. Yeah, and when the when the police came to the farmhouse, it was filled with thousands of copies of of, of dog sitter. And the body of Stumpy Baldwin. <laughs> and we learned how well insulation absorbs blood and brain matter. <laughs> <laughs> it, it absorbs it quite well. Yeah. Yeah. So the weirdest aspect of this video is after the first 20 minutes, it's the same type of footage repeated over and over. Like, oh, here I found some, uh, some turkeys running through my yard, so I'll film them. Or here's some cats. Extra points to whoever can list all the segments. Okay. Does Jay? anyone want to take this challenge? Who wants to take the challenge? One person can take the challenge. Rich, do you think Rich you could do it? Rich is like the man do for they, the job. Do they have to be in order? They don't have to be in order. You just, you just have, have to, to list name all, all the of segments. them. Different types. Yeah. yeah. Monkeys riding dogs. Pig showdown. <laughs> uh, mice and rocks. Different type of mice and rocks. <laughs> uh, that still counts as one. Yeah. Raccoon digs in rocks. <laughs> uh, rodent goes in and out of a grate. <laughs> that was a chipmunk. Whatever. B birds feeding on some kind of bird feeder things. Uh, uh, ten round fight between a squirrel and a pair of ravens for nuts. <laughs> Turkeys running through a field. Fake dog cam. Dog looking at a TV, barking at a TV. Does that count? There's multiple dogs. That's 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 that's, one that's, no, a, that's more of an interlude. Yeah. Okay. I'm counting all of different types. Okay. Of dogs. All the different types of dogs watching the TV. Uh, that counts you're, as you're throwing me off, Jay. You're throwing me I'm off. I'm sorry. I'm... There was about a three-second shot of a large cat that we're assuming that was at a zoo or something, and it gets dangerously close to the camera, and then they don't have any more of that after that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm out of here. Yes, yes. We have cougar insurance? No. <laughs> we're not filming the cougar anymore. <laughs> Cancel the cougar. <laughs> I'm just going to get some cats. <laughs> Video's costing me too much money. Can't save the farm if I spend too much money. <laughs> well, there, there, were, there were certain segments of this that felt like uh, shooting the rodeo. Yes. Which is the, the, uh, the phrase, I think, the, that we invented. We invented that for the movie the, Blood Shack. The Trooper. Where yeah. they literally shoot the rodeo to fill yeah. the running time yes. of the movie. And shooting the rodeo means there's an event happening and you film it and you put it in your movie and it's instant production value because you don't, you didn't have to arrange and, it. And it pads the running time. And it pads the running time. So there's, um, uh, I think I think it's the guy's credited, uh, Tim Leopard's Ghost Riders, which are the tiny monkeys that are attached to dogs against their own will. Yes. Um, that is shooting the rodeo, because there's an event happening, like a dog show or something, and they're filming it. And then there's another thing that happens for about 15 seconds, where two full uh, adult pigs uh, <laughs> Come out, one's wearing a little cowboy hat, and uh, ha and, and they have little tiny holsters glued yep. to them? Uh, yeah. I'm not yeah. even sure how it's attached. I don't I'm know. I'm sure it's the most cruel way possible. Stapled. Stapled, um, Stapled. hot glued to the pig, the poor Soldering pig. Soldering iron. And then they show, they, they show what looks like a hero pig, yeah. and then what looks like a villain pig, and then there's a little pig running uh, in front of it, which seems unrelated. I don't know, but well, the villain pig is chasing the little pig. Uh, That's why we know it's the bad guy. Something's happening. Uh, it feels like uh, like a Universal Studios like Wild West thing, like yeah. for kids. A stunt show. Stunt show of some kind. Yeah. And they set up for a showdown at noon, where the two uh, pigs are gonna draw guns, and then we never get a conclusion. No. We both we both know in real life both pigs lost yeah. because they became bacon. <laughs> but in, in the context of the story, we don't know which one won the shootout. We were desperate to see like a hoof with a gun. Oh yeah. Like somehow attached like to a Like a puppet hand <laughs> that's supposed to be a, a pig hoof. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, this, this leaves us with lots of questions as to the, the intentions, the motivations. Uh, there is a toll free number on the back. Oh, oh my. Why, why I think we should call it. Let's see if it's still in service. Uh, D-I-N, Do It Now Incorporated. Questions and comments, so they are, encour they are encouraging that. Okay, well, give me the number, Jay. Okay, uh, it's one, <laughs> four, <laughs>
Oh, Rich. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, hi, my name's Dan Wilson. I just remember it used to be for a for a video thing. I got a I got a video from you guys. It's called Dog Sitter. Well, it gave me a great idea. You see, I run Iowa's largest wildlife preserve, and I want to produce a video for giraffes. Just imagine how many zoos are in this country. I, I got an idea. You see, it's like this. We're gonna we're gonna build all these platforms in downtown Manhattan. And then we're gonna walk guys around with cameras, and it's gonna be like a like a giraffe's night out in Manhattan. All these platforms are gonna be 15 feet in the air. We're gonna put it on a DVD. And, and I, you know, I know those kids like the tards, so I wanna bombard every DVD with solar radiation. I think that'll create some kind of magnetron. And that'll let everyone who tries to copy the video. It's like a, a beam's gonna fly right into their eyes like Raiders of the Lost Ark. When. Wait, hold on, they've come back. Wait, let me, let me go. What's going on? Get away from my door. Hold on, I gotta go shoot some guys. I'll talk to you later. My name's John Wilson. I run Iowa's largest wildlife preserve. <laughs> well done, well done, that's all shit. Uh, oh my god. god. <laughs> you're all, you're wow. all for two in the crank <laughs> So, best of the worst on this Wheel of the Worst episode. Ice dams, kids and airbags. How to Become a Teenage Ninja and Dog Sitter VHS. Not to be confused with Dog Sitter DVD, despite the fact that the VHS tape has a DVD logo on it for some reason. Um, uh, uh, for, uh, Freddie Williams, best of the worst. Okay, I guess for its, its brevity, the, the kids and airbags, um, that one, uh, and, and the visual of a kid sitting in like a sandlot and that <laughs> just an airbag just coming out of nowhere completely catching him off guard yeah. that's a pretty good one um it's hard it's hard though to to uh i don't know play down the enjoyment that we just that you just gave us <laughs> based on based on all of the uh the, the crazy scenario that you basically enforced or you you know put on this video yeah. but i can't give this video that credit so best of the worst i guess is kids and airbags uh well I mean, these are both like non-videos, so boring. We usually say the worst thing you can do is be boring, but at least these were short, yeah. you know? <laughs> I picked the best of the worst ones for the shortest video and everyone gave me shit for it. I, I, I've you appreciate it now after these, right? I do. It's, it's quasi, I do. It's quasi the, 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 um, the rules yeah. for what makes best of the worst. But, but, you know, picking best of the worst, I'm gonna surprise myself, I know earlier, I paid Josh to knock you down so you wouldn't spend it. I mean, I mean, I know we almost didn't watch it earlier and I was glad, but I think I'm picking Dog Sitter as my best of the worst. Oh yeah? Even, even outside of the crazy story we came up with about the madman who made this video, I mean, there's all kinds of bizarre editing in here. And plus you get, you get monkeys on dogs <laughs> and a pig showdown. So I'm going with Dog Sitter. Ice dams, causes, combats, and cures had some important information about how to prevent icicles from forming. Uh, not a lot of entertainment value from that. Kids and airbags, lots of information about how to protect your child from airbags. Mm -hmm. Solid video, some laughs, not, not the worst thing ever, not the funniest thing ever. Uh, I hated this uh, based on its sloppy execution and its shitty cash grab uh, goal. Uh, and I, I've got to, I've got to go with Rich on uh, Dog Sitter. Dog Sitter was equally sloppy and shitty, but I'm going on uh, entertainment value. For some reason, we continued to watch this for an hour. That's true. And that, I think even that, when we started, we said we'll probably shut it off after a while because we'll get the gist of and it. And that is amazing. And I think some of that's based, it was based on the, 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 the promise that since we saw repetition in the bits, that once we saw those pigs about to have a shootout, that had me glued to the chair. <laughs> yeah, the, the I want to say the variety 
kept us interested, but there was repetition of variety, which is a contradiction uh, uh, in some way. But even though this was clearly uh, also a shitty cash grab, like How to Become a Teenage Ninja, the, the, the chaoticness and the sloppiness and the, the strange ex execution of it made it somewhat entertaining. And also the fact that it led into a fictional story about a, f a farmer <laughs> who was trying to save the family farm by making a <laughs> shitty video who eventually ended up killing himself. Uh, that that makes it makes the best of the worst for me. If I'm going to the best of the worst based on which video I would be willing to sit through again, I'm gonna go with kids in airbags because it was four minutes long. <laughs> Uh, but as far as entertainment value goes, I gotta go with Dog Sitter. It, it's twice the length of How to Become a Teenage Ninja, but it feels half the length. Mm. Uh, How to Become a Teenage Ninja felt so long. Because it was that one location, it was stupid little kids doing shitty uh, ninjutsu stuff. But Dog Sitter was so bizarre and... Uh, and it, it's it sort of got tiresome towards the end when we realized that we weren't going to get back to the pigs. Yeah. Um, but the first half of it or so was we were entertained. Like it never got tiring. So I'm going to go with Dog Sitter. All right. Dog Sitter is the winner for best of the worst. Um, we'll start with you, Jay. Uh, destruction. How to become a teenage ninja. Okay. Uh, how to become a teenage ninja? I hate it. How to become a teenage ninja? How to become a teenage ninja? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Please. I can, I can take, take many, many forms. forms. So, oh, oh. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like an icicle. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ! It's falling like an icicle. My eye! Oh no! Uh, how to become a teenage ninja? Gets the axe tonight. You know, I wonder what a certain uh, person that is a fan of ninjas would think of how to become a teenage ninja. Don the Dragon Wilson? No. Well, who else could you be thinking of, Jay? I still talk to Red Letter Media sometimes. I wonder if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I've seen many things that wouldn't be believed. I have seen zombies peruse the swamps of the land, seen distaff warriors of the apocalypse, at a time even been bound by blood to the Wendigo. And now, now soon perhaps I'll know the power of blood mercury. And though I'm not quite sure what Bite of the Mummy really means, oddly enough, it feels like a teardrop of destiny waiting to fall. So I give pause in thinking if what I'm doing is right or wrong. But perhaps the universe is already answered here in me.
you know the move. Whether you become a master, it's up to you to practice to perfection. Only then will you be part of the ninja connection. Walk tall, walk proud, always keep your cool. Cause now you're a graduate of ninja school. Always remember, a ninja uses common sense. Avoiding trouble is your best defense. Get the power. Get the power. Inner energy. Ninja power.